Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you today to discuss how to avoid spammers trigger in MailChimp. Uh, just before I do so, if you've not used MailChimp before or if you're looking for a tree free trial version of it for any reason, then uh, you can check it out through a link in the description below. So um, yeah, click that link. That'll take you through to a free, like I said, free trial version of it, completely on us, so you can utilize the platform yourself and check it out. So I've just been um, kind of updating myself and rereading what MailChimp publish on, you know, how to keep your kind of email campaigns or newsletter campaigns out of people's spam boxes. There's a number of things that you need to be aware of as well in terms of the law. So you can see here that, you know, it's, there's kind of laws that are enforced by MailChimp. Um, and there is a spam act of 2003 that was brought in according to the FTC. Uh, so you could be fined $11,000 for each offence if you're found to be in violation of that act. So make sure that you're educated on what that entails. Okay, so, um, you know, as it says, they've successfully sued spammers for millions of dollars around the country already in the States. So... Yeah, make sure that you're adhering to these laws, which are never use deceptive headers. Um, so, you know, the, that is kind of, you know, no need to say any more from names, reply to addresses, subject lines, you know, the, be honest, be straight with it, you know, and that is something that is vital, that your unsubscribe link is provided, it's very clear where to do so, and that it's valid for 30 days after sending the email. So you have to give your recipients an unsubscribe option in that email, okay? And like it says, you must include your physical mail and address as well, okay? So those are some things that you need to be very mindful of, okay? And in terms of the technicality then, um, test, test your content, you know? So when you've designed something and uh, they say to try and keep things clean in terms of formatting, to try and avoid complicated CSS and to keep your messages clean and, and simple and effective. And then when you're kind of done with the message and you've, you've formatted it and, you know, you think it's, it's kind of ready to go, then you can test it. And when you're at this stage, you can send a test email because, you know, you've got a restriction on how many of these that you can send, um, so you do not be, want to be wasting them as well. Um, so you can send a test email via the little button there. You can send a test to yourself or a friend and then see if that appears in your spam folder or if it goes straight through or how it kind of behaves. If it does, then modify some stuff, tweak and test and keep testing. And then once it clears your spam filter, you could try and test some others before you go sending it to a big mass of people for any reason, okay? So that would be something to be um, mindful of as well, really. Um, so yeah, they're all things to sort of consider. The other vital thing is before you add someone to your list of, of audience or your subscription list or, you know, they have to kind of agree to that, okay? So you, you, you can't add people blindly and just send them emails. That's not... How it works you, you're not meant to buy email lists off the internet you're meant to have someone opted in to your newsletter already okay so that's always you know it's up to you to kind of design the mechanism for that do they subscribe via something or do you, you know how is that kind of done but you you need to have their permission to have added them to that audience list ideally okay so um yeah and follow those rules and um make sure that you test and, and read up about it a little bit yourself and educate yourself on it like i said you know because that's um that's a real statistic that i went through there you know and there's a lot of uh, variables and different things that you can do as you can see in that article that covers um you know quite a lot of that stuff um and and yeah just test that that's kind of what is at the bottom of of everything really when it comes to guidance on spam and how to avoid them is that testing is uh, going to be the way to avoid them okay so that concludes the tutorial and the tips just before i end the video i'd like to mention that i've left a link in the description below for a software um, that ranks your website instantly by using videos so this might be very interesting to the viewer who's looking for more traffic and more sales to their website so make sure to check that out if that's something that you need 
If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future content, then leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.